Hey guys, so um, I just wanted to do a quick little video on um, an updated skincare routine and talk a little bit about hair um, and skin and things like that, uh, mostly because I just changed my routine just a little bit um, and wanted to share it with you. Um, I did want to, I guess, start with just like a little bit um, of a positive note. I hope that doesn't, I hope that doesn't catch on fire. I don't think we're good. Um, especially in light of all of the violence and tragedies that have been happening around the world, um, I just feel that we need as a country um, and as a society as a whole to focus more on positivity and peace. I really do feel that um, now more than ever we need to focus on our similarities not our differences and their violence will never um, fix anything it will never um, right any wrongs and it will not bring justice um, to the world you know it's just not going to do it um, I can you know I can understand wh where some people will feel that um, you know, you need to fight violence with violence. Um, I understand that feeling, um, but I do know that that does not solve anything. And, um, you know, my heart goes out to all of the people who have been hurt in some way or another, either by the police or um, from just, you know, people in the streets who think that their lives um, are more important. I believe um, that all lives do matter and I do believe that there's an injustice towards you know one race over the other um, but I feel that we need to focus on the community as a whole and we really do need to figure out a way where everyone feels um, taken care of and feels that they are important um, I think that enough is enough and I do feel that this election is going to be one for the books. It has definitely been, and I'm not even somebody who um, keeps up with um, politics, I don't really find it as um, interesting I guess you could say, um, although I do find it important. I just think that this election is definitely the one where we should go out and vote. Um, you know, it's going to change history, I believe, and I really hope for the better. Um, something does have to change. I'm not quite sure what that change will be. I just hope that it is a positive one. It saddens me to see, you know, how far we have come as a society, and yet how much we have gone backwards. Um, you know, I just really just hope that that's not the case, and I hope that we can continue to move forward and go towards um, a more positive and peaceful world, really. Um, so I just wanted to kind of put that out there, just because that has been something that has, you know, made, you know, my heart heavy, and something that it does affect me as well, and I kind of wanted to share my thoughts and um, what I think, you know, my thoughts on, you know, what has been going on, and it it has affected, you know, every part of our lives. And I just, you know, hate waking up to seeing that in the news every morning. Um, my father loves to watch the news, so it's not something that I enjoy waking up to, and I'm sure millions of you don't like it either. And I really do hope that we come to some understanding and some, um, some level of peace. That's just really what I hope for. Um, anyway, moving on to now we're going to go on to more fun topics because, you know, yes, there's a lot of hatred and, you know, negativity in the world, but, you know, that's not something that we need to focus on every single day. Um, and let's, you know, focus on a little bit of fun, a little bit of frivolity, if you would. I think that's how you say it. Let's go on to skin. Um, as if you've watched some of my other videos, you know I struggle with acne uh, my whole life. And recently I 
have noticed that has been coming back. Um, I have a few pimples here and there, and I just have noticed that my skin is just not doing good. Um, I think I've, I was trying out a lot of new products, and my skin was just not having it. It was not happy with me, so I and I haven't been using anything to treat them. Um, I have been trying to stay away from the traditional acne medicines. I just feel like they're so harsh and they create, they just make my skin so thin and I um, get sunburned for anything, for just going outside. And if you live in Florida, you'll know it has been ridiculously hot these past, I mean this summer, I feel like it's just getting hotter and hotter, but I just think that we forget how hot it really is to live down here. Because of that, I have changed up my routine just a little bit and I've tried a few new things. Some of them are old just because they work so well, but I haven't been using them, so that is why they're here. Um, so first off, in the mornings, um, I usually wash my face with either, with just a really gentle cleanser. Um, so I do love Neutrogena's, they have a gentle wash that, that is amazing. Um, it's a little expensive for a drugstore brand, but it works really, really well. Um, but I have been using this one. It's called by Glossier. Glossier? Glossier? Um, it's called the Milky Jelly Cleanser. It's a conditioning face wash. And I am normally um, combination, so I have sometimes I'm super, super oily throughout the day. Sometimes I wake up with a super dry face. It just depends. Um, but I've noticed that this works well regardless of how uh, my face is and it really does create this nice um, smooth canvas. It creates almost like a barrier um, for my skin, um, so which I feel like it helps keep it nice and smooth throughout the day. Um, so this is what I've been washing my face with in the mornings. Um, it's really my sister's. I did not buy this. My sister did, so I'm stealing it from her, but she uses my stuff. so. Oh, thank you, Nicole. <laughs> so at nighttime is really when I kind of pile on more things. One, because I've been wearing makeup all day and I need something to really take it off. Um, and secondly, because at nighttime is when we're, you know, we're going to be sleeping for eight hours, hopefully. Um, so you, it's the best time to put on all of your night creams and the moisturizers that you want to put at night any serums because your skin is really going to drink it in. So at night time, I have been loving this Honest Beauty. This is the Refreshingly Clean Gel Cleanser. Now if you do have oily skin, gel is the way to go. Um, gel helps cleanse the skin without adding any more moisture. Um, if you're oily, you don't need to too much moisture. You don't want to strip out any, but um, a gel won't add on any moisture to your face because you don't need too much. Um, so definitely something that is foamy or a gel is really great for you. So this is really great for me as well. What I have been doing recently, this by the way cleanses makeup like you will not believe. Just like two pumps and it will wipe off everything from eye makeup to lipstick, I mean, it just takes everything away like that. Um, so that's what I love about this because um, I had run out of my makeup wipes, my favorite makeup wipes from Honest, um, and this definitely has been taking the place of it. I still want to buy my makeup wipes just because they are so um, moisturizing and refreshing, um, but this has been doing a great job, especially for my eyes. They're very, very, very sensitive. And I had been trying new things as, um, to try to get my eye makeup off, but this takes it off like that, barely any rubbing, and it does not irritate my eyes. So, this thing has been amazing. Lifesaver. But what I've been doing is, and I've mentioned it before, but I've never really showed it, um, I've been adding a couple drops of this tea tree oil to my face wash. So I'll kind of use these two together. I'll use a pump first to take off my eye makeup, and then I will do a pump or so more and add two drops of this in there. And then you don't really need two drops. It is very um, intense. This is pure tea tree oil, um, and it's an antiseptic, so it will um, kill any bacteria, which is usually what causes pimples. Um, 
so you don't need a lot and it's best to use it with something else because it is pure you don't want it to um, directly have contact with your face unless of course you're using it for a cut or something and then I'm sure you can but for me it works best these two together I will also add this to my scrub get for you. I still love this scrub this is literally ooh, literally life um, this is the purifying daily detox scrub this is by Derma E um, they also sell this at Whole Foods which I found this on sale um, and it, it uses charcoal also to exfoliate and to clear any um, acne and things like that. I've been using these two together as well, um, and it does work well. I have noticed that my back is breaking out more. I do think it's because of the summer, um, and especially where I work, our air conditioning does not work, so I'm sweating all day long. Um, so I think that's pretty much, it's not helping. Um, this is helping out just a little bit. I've only recently started using it, so they haven't cleared up just yet. But this combination is really, really great for that. Um, the last thing I will do, I had been using um, a night cream, which I'm pretty sure I showed in that last video. Um, it's like a renewing night cream, uh, but I had noticed that during the summer, it was just too much. My skin was just not having it. It was just breaking out like crazy. So um, I decided to repurchase my which I, I didn't know, but it's called Ho-Ho, Ho-Ho, Ho-Ho-Ba, Ho-Ho, Ho-Ho, ho I can't, Ho-Ho-Ba, Ho-Ho-Ba oil, there you go, <laughs> um, yes, um, it's working at a salon, apparently that's how you're supposed to say it, I still like Jojoba, um, but apparently that's not correct. So this is absolutely amazing. Um, you can use it on your hair, which is what we use at the salon. It's very, very moisturizing, um, but I love it for my skin. It is still the only thing that will reduce the, um, if I have a large round red bump on my face, which is not a pimple just yet. You can't pop it, you can't really do anything. It just hurts like hell. Um, I will put this on at night and by the next morning it's already half its size. Um, and the pain is gone. So I like the organic one just because, you know, I want it to be something. If I'm going to put it on my skin, it might as well be organic. Um, it is pricey. However, I feel like that it's worth it. And a little bit goes a long way. So you don't have to worry about running out of this anytime soon. Um, so I will just put a couple drops on my palms. And then I will rub it together and press it into my skin. Um, I like to do it all over and then I like to do it on my back as well just because my back is so irritated and red and bumpy this just really helps with that um, so this is what I've been using in place of that moisturizer because it's just way too much at um, during summer I mean um, so definitely this has been um, the products that I've been putting on my face to kind of reduce um, any pimples that I've been getting I hadn't noticed before, but during the summer, I really do need to change up my skincare routine just because I have combination skin and the heat just wreaks havoc on it um, like crazy. So the other thing that I started using, which we're going to get into hair now, um, which I've heard, especially working at a salon, I've always heard about biotin, that it is something that, you know, really helps with hair growth and things like that um, and so I just decided to give it a shot I just got the one milligram it's just a thousand MCGs um, which is there's three levels from what I saw at Whole Foods there's uh, I think there's 0.5 one and then there's five or something so there's three levels and this is just the, the second one um, I didn't want to use too much and I didn't want to use too little so I just started to start with this and so far, I have noticed a really big difference in um, my nails. They grow, they grow fast naturally, and they're naturally strong. But I have noticed since taking this, they grow a whole lot faster. Um, another thing I noticed is that it has made the hair on my eyebrows grow in. Um, if you've ever watched any of my videos, you'll know that this eyebrow, lovely eyebrow here, 
has been my problem eyebrow. We all have one. There's always that eyebrow that does not grow um, the same as the other one. Um, so, but I noticed that taking this once a day, every day, um, the hairs that um, would not grow here have grown in. And I mean, it's been like overnight. They're just there. Um, before it would just be a space. They were not growing in, but taking this, it has made them grow in. Not only the ends, but in the front as well, which I've never had a hair there before. Um, this eyebrow is just the same. It's definitely a lot thicker. That's just it, how it naturally grows, but I have noticed such an improvement in this eyebrow. So if you have sparse eyebrows, um, I would definitely recommend taking some biotin. Um, the thing with biotin though is it's not going to make hair grow where there's no hair. Um, it's only going to activate the hair that you have there that's just having trouble growing. Um, it's not going, if there's no hair follicles there, you ain't going to get hair. Um, so if you're balding as well, you know, this is not going to just miraculously make hair grow. But it's going to help the hair that you do have there um, grow. So I have always had sparse hairs there, but they just never grew in. And this has helped so much with um, just making them grow. Um, I haven't noticed any difference in my hair per se, um, but we'll see. I'm just gonna, I'm really doing it just to see what happens. I lose a lot of hair and I did, I have noticed that I have, there's not a lot of hair. If you could see, see all that hair? I don't think you can see. No, you can't see. But every time you brush through my hair, a bunch of hair will fall out. And there have been times where I'm just sitting at work and I will just do this and a ball of hair will just fall out. So that's not normal. So um, I haven't had it happen since taking the biotin. So for me, it really has made a difference in terms of that. The other thing that I've tried was this hair Botox, which we do at the salon. And I've noticed that it has made my frizziness go down a lot, as well as my curls. They're not as curl curled, I guess, anymore. Um, which I really enjoy because my curls are just kind of all over the place and this has just made it a bit more manageable. It's made it more wavy than curly. Um, it is an expensive treatment, but it is something that is natural and they we mostly use oils instead of chemicals to really help um, fortify the hair, but also to make it more manageable, not as frizzy and not as, for me, curly. Um, so that's pretty much it. That's pretty much what I've been doing. I know um, that this is a short video, but I wanted to kind of get something up and I wanted to really touch base on what's been going on in the world just because, um, you know, I have opinions and feelings and I wanted to kind of share them with you as well. Um, I will be putting up kind of another video on um, something more fun, a little bit of a makeup look and things like that. Um, but um, I will post the link to my other video below. I also have, if you're still watching, um, coming up is a challenge that I have participated with a company called Minted. Um, they kind of support artists in their work and they did a contest recently uh, featuring landscapes um, and it's kind of um, how you would represent your city in photographs. So I have submitted a few pieces of my favorite work to that challenge and if you are interested in seeing them um, and are interested in voting, I will also put that link down below. I would really, really appreciate any feedback um, that you have on my pictures and if you could vote, I would really appreciate that too. Um, it would mean a lot to me, so I will leave that down below. Um, so until next time, I really hope that you guys um, keep positive and have an amazing day. So I will see you next time.